All right, you guys, let's use embroidery wear to make some letters for my bunnies. Okay. All right, so I have it at 100%. Um, I don't really have grid lines up. I am not familiar with it yet to do that. So the first thing you do is go up here and select the line tool because you need to draw a line. So you click, let go, and click, let go, and you right click and drawing. Now, if you don't do that, you'll end up having lines everywhere. <laughs> um, there we go. And then you go up here, you want to click this blue box oh, to select it. Dislike the line. Now we go up to the lightning bolt. And it's being quirky to me tonight. Why is it doing this? Huh. Oh, there we go. I think it's just trying to do too much in the background. Right, lettering. Um we need the lettering that is oh i'll show you it in a minute i don't remember the name of it i believe it's that one it's called cartley okay so we want to type in my first name l e And this is for a little girl. And you push update. All right, so that's a little big because I have got a tiny bunny ear. Oh, goodness. It's, everything's going crazy tonight. Hold on, there we go. We want to work with a small screen. Oh, not that small screen. I just went down there. Drag that over here. Oh goodness, you guys, it's just been a crazy night. All right, so if you push, um, push okay, um, it'll leave that. And it shows down here that it is 4.12 by 1.32 inches. Now that's too big for my bunny ear, but I first want to um, change my spacing so right here uh, uh spacing auto we don't want it auto so you click that and it'll give you a little dot over here so you push that and when you push it it brings up this um screen and we want to move this down so we can see wow i don't know if it's my mouse doing it or if this program is bogged right now come on <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Oh, I'm not used to doing stuff like this on my computer. Uh, I'll have to check my mouse out. I'm thinking it's something's not right. Oh, my goodness. All right. Anyways, now it's all the way. So you see the spacing with the I and the G. I don't like that. So I'm going to push. Oh, you got to go down here and push manual. And then you push your G. So we want our G to move closer to the I. Um, there we go. Let's see, the E, I would like to move that a little away from the I. Well, it didn't do it. So we'll go to the E, the I, and move it. There we go. Oh, I moved it twice. I only pushed once. Um, it happens. I mean, nothing's perfect. Over one, T. Um, you can space them or put them right up on you want, but I mean, this is kind of a scripty font, but it's not truly a script that you can really connect. Oop. So I snagged it a little too far. Well, I only pushed it once. Yeah, I'm wondering if my mouse is sticking or something. Well, I'll figure it out. I am nowhere near a pro at this, but I thought I'd try to show you guys it. Um, this is embroidery wear, by the way. I don't know if I told you that or not. Um, it's pretty cool. I um, 
I like it. I bought it mainly for the many fonts and it, it comes with a lot of fonts. I want to move the tea up. It looks like it's hanging down. Um, also it has, um, digital, you can be, you can digitize in it. Um, there's a lot of tools that I have no idea how to use. Um, so there we go. Let's see. And now, now it's down to th oops, three point, oh, over here, point eighty four by one point three inches. So I'll go to my bunny. Hey guys, there's my bunny. He's a little tiny guy. Um, I ended up accidentally buying small ones, but um, they are still stitchable. So you wouldn't want to go much more than a three inch right here. So I need to make this smaller. So we go back up here, up to the lightning. Um, I could be doing some of this wrong. I'm 100% not sure, not 100% sure on how to do it. So I'm gonna knock it from a one. I'm gonna do um, a 0.75. Excuse me, I got the hiccups, you guys. Okay, update it. All right, I'm gonna push OK because it doesn't update the size down there until you push OK and you get out of the screen. So now it's 2.88 and it's a 0.99 inch. Um, let's see here. So we'll see. And this is at 100%. So let's throw my ruler up there because sometimes I worry about it. I don't know. Yeah, that's almost an inch, which isn't too bad for on the bunny. So with that, and it, see, it keeps the spacing. It keeps the spacing. And yeah, if my screen looks filthy to you guys, I am so sorry. <laughs> I got a two year old, uh, almost seven year old that likes to touch my screen um all right so i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna save well i just save it first um see i already have this name saved so um because i made it this file already before and it ended up being too small so, sorry, I'm typing one-handed and I'm not the best at it. So I want to put dash two for my second turn <laughs> at it. Um, we're going to save it. And then my jump drive is in there already or my USB port, whatever. Um, you go up here and you can export file and look, you can put it in all of these. Um, I run a, a Janome, so I want to export it as a Janome file. And I just keep it simple and I do the same name. Newton. I don't even know how to say it right. Hopefully I'm not butchering the name. There we go. And then this time it'll save it. And then um, when I do that, I like to go down to my files. Um, push. Oh, there you go. Oh, there. Downloads. I'm still getting used to this, you guys. So, see, there's, these are the two I did right here. Sorry. Right here are my two. So, this one says GF, GEF file. So, I'm going to side click it. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go over here. That is my file for my um, jump drive. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste it in there. And then when I click on it, uh, there it is right there with all the other stuff that's on there. So it's pretty simple. Um, I've got more names to get done, but I thought I'd show you guys real fast how I do it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that. But that is embroidery wear. Um, I can zoom in on it. That's what the um, logo looks like. Um, I really do enjoy this program. I just wish I understood it better, um, but I need time to learn. <laughs> um, 
But anyways, you guys, if you're interested in learning more and um, following my path on um, oh, learning embroidery there, um, stay tuned. Um, like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button um, so you'll be notified every time I upload. Um, hopefully I'll get a little better at this filming and someday learn how to edit. As of right now, it's just simpler to do it and you guys get the real me, the real issues. <laughs> like the, the menu didn't want to come up and then everything kept popping up bigger on me on there so <laughs> that was fun. Um, anyways, uh, that is my journey for embroidery wear. Thank you guys. Bye.